Namaste everyone. Today we will talk about another PowerShell topic. Let's talk about arrays. A equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So what is an array? Array is a data structure that is designed to store a collection of items. The items can be of the same type or different types. That is, it can be integer, it can be a string. No. Uh, so let's say a.get type. So it is an array. I uh, say so a equals, I will say one. I will redefine it to three. I'll also say hi. So 3.2. Write a. So that is an array. 2a dot get type. Yes, it is an array. Uh, another way of uh, defining an array is this a one two three four and then c this is a valid way uh, this uh, a textbook way of doing it then if you want to make a collection collection allow you gives you much uh, better flexibility collection start array list array list and then one two three okay or i can also do e i can what i can do here is instead doing this i can say b let me define a new one here so e is another array collection which is made up of b enter and now i will say b dot get type d dot get type d dot get type d dot get type so you see here uh, when you define it as a collection it becomes array list it gives you the flexibility of adding items, removing items easily. So if you want to limit, uh, as you saw here, you can, you can add any type of data, string or integer. If you wanna add just string, just integer, you can limit that too by doing this, int 32, let's say also g equals one, two, the dot get type the name is int 32 it is system dot array but it is of type integer 32 what if i make the same one as string even though you have integers here it will treat them as string that is string so it is uh, an array where everything or, uh, or everyone or every item in it or every member will be treated as string. Then you can go ahead and add items to it. Let's say we have A here. Can I add uh, items to it? Add, let's say six. No, because it is not a collection. It says collection was of a fixed size. When you say, uh, when you define an array without explicitly mentioning mentioning that it is a collection, you will create an array, not array list. So to get around that is you simply do this and then you will be able to do it, um, add the values. However, when I did A plus six, you saw uh, the a and six, but actually it never got added inside the element because let's say a dot length, right? It is five. Now I will do this and then I'll say a dot length again. It is still five. So it kind of adds it, but it not actually makes it as a member. It concatenates them and shows it to you. So that is not actually adding items. To now, you can go ahead and uh, get items 
from the array the first item uh, when you're counting an array or listing an array uh, you when you're doing it from left to right it starts from zero and when you're doing it from right to left it starts from minus one so a let's say minus one that is the last item let me define again a one dot dot nine that is this is a now a zero is this a minus one is this you can get multiple a range of numbers that is i want to get from one to sixth item so two three four five six seven right so that is what you will get then you have you can get you can mix and match uh, both of these operations you can just index two numbers and get a range as well let's say a i want to get the second one fourth one or third one and eighth one okay what if i want to get a bit more interesting let's say two three plus i want to get from fifth to eighth so second item third item and then fifth item to eighth item in the list if you want to add a value the a equals a plus 96 then you can do this even though it is not um, a collection array but if you want to get around that you can do this way but if it is just um, let's say e this is our e and e dot get type is an array list not just an array for this what i can do here is e plus 96 and it automatically gets uh, becomes a member of e you can also add like this if you want to do that way or no plus equal nine nine that is this let's say then you have dollar sign a plus equals 88 right so this is how you index an array create an array access the elements of arrays we are going to extensively use them when we are when we talk about iterating through them when we were when we are going to discuss about loops and uh, taking actions based on some conditions thank you for tuning in have a great one